Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah, also known as Laugh Love Langella. And in today's video, we're going to be changing the pace a little bit and we're gonna be heading over to the depot at Gibson Mill. It is the largest antique mall in the South. And honestly, the booths are always so amazing. You can spend hours there and not see every item. It is truly, truly massive. But my favorite, favorite times to shop at the depot are during the fall and winter seasons and Christmas. Um, and the booth owners just do such an awesome job of setting them up and displaying things. And while I might not always leave with a bunch of stuff, I, I get so much inspiration from seeing how they stage items. It is a little pricey at the depot. However, you're not finding stuff that you can get at a big box store and you're gonna leave with something special. So it is always worth the trip, even just to see how they have everything styled and to just get ideas for your own space. So today's video is in collaboration with my sweet friend Sky over at House and Home on YouTube. She is the neutral decorating queen and I had so much fun heading over to the depot with her. We just grabbed a cup of coffee and hot chocolate for me and just got to catch up on life, talk about how the kids are doing and Honestly, it was just such a fun time. So I will have her video of her antique trip linked down below as well as her channel. So be sure to subscribe, let her know I sent you and let's head over to the depot. So I love that as soon as you walk up to the depot, there is already amazing finds on the outside of the mall. They have it all decked out for Christmas. This sled, as soon as you walk in, is such a cute moment. I would absolutely love to have one styled for a front porch. And then this front booth actually had the Norfolk stems and garlands that are sold out everywhere. Just a quick disclaimer, the depot does not ship. You do have to come shop in person, but it's definitely worth the trip if you are in the area. The great thing too about the depot is that you can really find almost anything here. You can find a beautiful heirloom quality furniture piece, tabletop decor, shelf styling stuff. It can be neutral, it can be transitional or traditional. The possibilities are endless and you can quite literally spend hours here and still not see everything. These handmade linen ornaments were so, so cute. You could definitely do a DIY on those. And then this snowman in the cloche was just such a cute idea. This booth is always one of my favorites to visit at the depot. They always have a ton of faux greenery stems and very traditional styling pieces. So I was absolutely in love with this arched deer frame print, but it was so pricey. I think it was like $90 or something and I just couldn't justify it for the size. So I'm gonna try to find a frame that is resembling this and do a DIY of it. But again, I just love coming to the depot to get tons of inspiration too for how I could style and maybe DIY stuff. This primitive gingerbread man was such a cute find. It really reminds me of those burlap snowmen. I remember them growing up. I'm a 90s baby, so maybe that's it, but they are so cute.
this fireplace mantle was solid wood and absolutely stunning. It was also really reasonably priced. I wish I had a way to make this work with my current fireplace situation because it is so, so gorgeous. This blue spruce tree was such, such a good find too. The coloring was beautiful and it was only a hundred dollars. I totally would have brought it home, but if I come home with another tree, I feel like my husband might be upset because we've got four up already. Is that too much? I feel like it's not. Leave me a comment down below. How many trees do you have up in your house? This is another one of my absolute favorite booths. They always have great styling, great selection. I do tend to find a lot of faux greenery from them. So they are in the front room in the back left corner if you're gonna come and make a visit. This is yet another one of my favorite booths at the depot. They always have such an organic way of styling and everything is just so beautiful. I love the tree and the crock and the antler sheds with the pine cones. Everything is just gorgeous. These bells were such a cute find too. They would be awesome for like porch styling. I have to say I'm obsessed with old sleds. I would love to find a reasonably priced wood sled to have for front porch decorating. So that is definitely on the list of things to look for in the future. This booth is a newer one and it absolutely did not disappoint. It was so stunning. I loved the neutral vibes it had and it had a crock that was taller than my knees. It was absolutely amazing. self-explanatory how awesome the booths at the depot are. There is no shortage and when I tell you I'm only sharing a glimpse in this video of what we saw, we didn't even walk through the whole thing. That's how big this place is. 
It is by far worth the trip if you're within like a couple hours. I would highly, highly recommend that you check them out. They have amazing furniture pieces as well. Some of them are a little bit pricey, but they are like solid, solid pieces, heirloom quality that will last you for quite some time. So it is by far worth it. So for this trip, I left with these absolutely gorgeous juniper berry stems. I grabbed three of them. They were $6.95 each, I believe. I had seen some on Etsy and I waited too long and I was filled with regret. So I saw these and like nearly gasped. I was like, oh, those are coming home with me. Um, I wish I grabbed like 10 more if they had them. But I absolutely love these. I know exactly where I'm putting them. I'm going to put them in our entryway arrangement. I just feel like they'll bring in such like an organic found kind of vibe. And I just, I'm all about that. Um, but that is going to wrap up today's video. Be sure to head over to Sky's channel. I will have her video from the trip at the depot as well as her channel link down below. She has so so much Christmas decorating inspiration she's got thrifting videos DIY videos you name it she's got it and there is no shortage of them either so be sure to check out her channel and let her know that I sent you thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you in my next video bye